In this video, we will look at this 4x4 matrix keypad. We will look at how these devices work and how you can interface them with the Raspberry Pi Pico using MicroPython. We will also look at a simple project of where you need to guess a secret password and if you guess the correct password, it will turn on this LED. Now, we can wire up 10 or more push buttons to various input pins but it is much easier to use a matrix keypad like this one. The benefit of this is that you'll need fewer pins and with some clever programming in MicroPython, you do not need resistors for debouncing. These keypads are available in standard push buttons or membrane switches. We are going to use this membrane keypad. This keypad has 16 buttons, 10 numbers from 0 to 9, letters from A to D, and the star and hash symbol. This keypad has a ribbon wire with a total of 8 wires, which 4 of them are for rows and the other 4 are for the columns. Let's take a look at how does this keypad work. The schematic for arrangements is shown here. This 4x4 matrix keypad has 16 built-in push button contacts connected to the rows and columns. Using the Pico, we can scan these lines for a press state. We can set all the column lines to input and all the rows lines to output. We start with the first row and set it to high and we will check the column lines one at a time to see if a button has been pressed. If the column connection stays low, the button on the row has not been pressed. If it goes high, for example when we press 6, the picker will know which row is currently set high and which column received a high input due to the short. This process is known as key scanning. Since we constantly scan each row with all the columns, we can only detect one key press at a time. Let's look at how we need to wire up the keypad to the Pico. We need 8 GPIO pins on the Pico to wire this up. I am using GPIO pin 2 to 9 and I will use pin 2 to 5 which will be my rows and pin 6 to 9 which will be the columns. Now let's go program this in MicroPython. Here is a simple program I have written in MicroPython to test our keypad. The first thing we will have to do is import the machine library and use the pen function from it and we will also import the uTime library. In this section we create a map of our keys with a two dimensional array with all the numbers in a correct sequence corresponding to the keypad. Now we can assign the pens on the Pico so according to our schematic the row pins will be from 9 to 6 and our columns it will be pins from 5 to 2. We then need to set up our pins and we do this by creating two empty lists for the column pins and the row pins. We then use a for loop here to assign the pins according to the correct rows and make the pins an output using the pin dot out and set it to 1. For the columns we do the same assigning the correct pins to our list and setting it up as an input to detect a button being pushed and a default value is set to 0. I then made a print function here to show the start of our program and it will ask us to enter a key from the keypad. In this endless loop, we need to scan all the keys and to check for a button press. So we create a function scan keys. In this function scan keys, we create two for loops to check each row with all the columns for each key press. If a key has been pressed, the corresponding column value will change to a 1. And we will print out what key you have pressed by looking at our matrix keys, checking the row and column, and a short sleep function to ensure that the value is only read once. Then we set the row pins to low again and we continue to check for any new key presses. Now let's go upload the program. And here we can verify that if a key has been pressed, it is displayed here in our shell. So now that we can receive an input, let's make it a bit more functional. Let's say we have a secret pin that is 6 characters long and if you enter the pin correctly, we'll print out to the user you got a secret pin correct and an LED will turn on. Enter the secret pin incorrectly, we'll print out to the user better luck next time. Let's look at what do we need to change and add to our previous code. In this part here, we create an empty list called guess. This will allow us to store input from the user. Then we will create a list with our secret pin, which is very easy now, just one to six. We want to turn on an LED if the user guessed the pin correct. So we create a variable called LED and I will use GPIO 15 to set it as an output and use the pull up resistor to limit the current to the LED. Now in our scan keys in this section, every time we press a key, we will add this to our list guest. If the length of the guest is equal to six, we will call the function check pin 
to see if the password matches and after that we'll remove all the inputs from this list. In our check pin function we have an if statement to compare our guest list to a secret pin list and if they are equal we print to the user you got the secret pin correct and then we set our LED value to high for 3 seconds and then turn it low again. If the password did not match we display better luck next time. Before we upload this let's wire the LED quickly. GPIO pin 15 is located on pin 20 on the Pico. Make sure to connect the LED the correct way with the long leg going into pin 20 and the short one going to any ground pin and I'm using pin 18 here. Now upload this to your Pico. If I mistype the secret pin, it will display better luck next time. Once we enter the secret pin correctly, the LED turns on for 3 seconds. And now that you know how this keypad works, go use it in your own project. And if you like this tutorial and you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video.